Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Suspect Sky. How many of you remember the Berenstein Bears uh, children's book series when you were growing up? I certainly do. And I received a, uh, a YouTube message from a member of the audience who said, you need to look into the Berenstein Bears problem. And so, you know, I did a couple Google searches and uh, yeah, I just uncovered a very, very interesting controversy uh, that's been making a lot of news in, in our field recently and I'm going to be objective here and I just kind of want to cover this story a little bit and introduce you to it and uh, also just to hear your your thoughts on it so I'm not going to make any any definitive uh, you know definitive opinions on this I just kind of wanted to introduce you to it because I find it really fascinating uh, so if you read here, Berenstain. So apparently they're the Berenstain Bears. They're not the Berenstain Bears, as I remember them. And apparently they've always been called the Berenstain Bears. Uh, and I was like, okay. I distinctly remember the books having Berenstain. I distinctly remember my parents reading me these stories as a child them using the word Berenstein, not Berenstain, um, which I think is a point too that that, that you should uh, think about because here's my parents, you know, 40 years old, something like that, and, uh, you know, 30s, 40s, and they're reading this children's book and, you know, now I'm supposed to think that they're mispronouncing Berenstain, that they're they're calling it Berenstein. So it's not just me as like a kid who doesn't know how to read right saying Berenstein. Yeah, so this just really kind of shook me up. Uh, so apparently, so anyway, yeah. So I, I started to look into this and I did a couple Google searches. I looked at the images of the books themselves and yeah, they've always been called Berenstein. And this just kind of threw me for a loop here. Uh, and apparently it's thrown a lot of people into a loop. Um, so there's a lot of articles here. Uh, so here's one from Stranger Dimensions. And uh, yeah, so like them, you know, I received a message saying you need to look into this like issue. And I, you know, my response is probably what yours is. <laughs> the what? <laughs> but yeah, Berenstein Bears. They're the Berenstain Bears, and they always have been. Um, I even listened to this theme song here. Uh, so this is the the opening to the Berenstain... I'm going to say Berenstain Bears. <laughs> so the Berenstain Bears, uh, and in the theme song, they're, they're saying Berenstain Bears. And I'm like, that is definitely not how I remember it when I was growing up. Um, all the book covers. I even asked my parents to send me a picture on their cell phone of the books I used to read as a kid. And sure enough, they say Berenstain. And I'm like, what? That was actually a very a very chilling feeling. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be more objective here because this is a, a very weird thing. And Well, so anyway. Um, yeah, so I went down this rabbit hole for a while. Uh, and, and this person starts to talk about, did something in our universe, our reality, our timeline, did something change to make this happen? You know, was it within the last 10 years or so? Uh, I went to that article that they were linking here, this Wood Between the Worlds, and I found it here. And this is a, it's a very intelligent person. Um, I enjoyed his theory and, and his hypothesis. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly go through this. Um, yeah, you know, he was shocked too. Baron Stain with an A. Mind was blown. Yeah, that's the exact same feeling that I had. Um, I definitely remember this. Like, this is just one of those things that, like, I definitely remember watching the TV show, reading the books, my parents reading to me, uh, my significant other, even she said that um, her parents would read to her this th these books and that they always said Baron Stein. And, uh, you, know, you, you know, like, what? You know, were our parents mispronouncing it? And that's why we all, you know... And we've always been wrong, you know, like every 
piece of evidence says that, yeah, we've always been wrong, even though I always have believe and remember them to be the, the Berenstein Bears, it's just a really, really weird story. And I know it's kind of funny that it's it's about a children's book, but it goes so deep. You know, when, when I went down this rabbit hole, just so much like came uncovered. Um, this person even refers to Universe E and Universe A. So Universe A is the Berenstain universe and Universe E is the Berenstain universe. Um, and like he says, you know, this has become like a big like thing. Uh, there's lots of like articles about it. Um, and then he goes into some other stuff. So, well, anyway, let me, let me take a step back here. So this is a big thing. So a lot of people are talking about this. Berenstain bears are a lie. Um, I'll include, you know, links to all this stuff in here. It's really cool. Um, but what really got me interested though was this uh, Mandela effect. And I'll, I'll explain this here. So this, this refers to Nelson Mandela. And I guess this whole idea of reality shift, of uh, what I like to term as, so I, I sort of came up with my own term to, to reality shift, is that it is mass identical misrememberings. So there are large portions of the population that apparently remember facts, historical events, things like that, differently than what reality says is true. And so this, this is pretty cool. Uh, there's a website here. Actually, let me just play this for a couple, like for a minute or two here. Mandela Effect. Um, there's a whole website devoted to it. And there's a lot of things that I believe when I was younger are apparently completely wrong and different than what reality says they are now. And the Berenstein Bears is one of those things. Distinctly remember it being S-T-E-I-N, like Berenstein Bears. Couldn't be more sure about that than, you know, like my mother's name. Like, I absolutely know that's true. However, the reality universe that we live in now that's not true you can see here the, the author's na last names is Baron Stain according to this and they are the Baron Stain Bears at least in this <laughs> in this version of reality so I went back and I found a clip of the cartoon I think this is from 1987 here let's watch this <laughs> I mean, as you can see there, that's the old cartoon and clearly stated Baron Stain. Now, the problem with all this is that people have a distinct memory of it not being that way. Like, it, it's named the, the Mandela Effect because a lot of people believe that Mandela died years and years ago while he was... Yeah, so that's... That's, that's a, a really interesting thing, so... The Mandela Effect is named after the idea that a large portion of the population remembers Nelson Mandela passing away decades ago. And uh, then in 2013, when he passed away, a large portion of the population was like, what the heck? You know, what, I thought he was already dead. And a lot of it was, you know, a lot of people just dismissed it as being, oh, I just didn't remember it correctly, whatever. But but people began to get motivated and kind of looked into it. There was a lot of, you know, blog posts about it. Like, what the heck? I thought he already died. And I'll have to admit, I thought he was, uh, I actually thought he was dead already. But I dismissed it, um, just saying I, I just didn't remember right. I didn't pay attention enough to it or whatever, and I, I just don't remember it right. Um, but then this Berenstein Bears thing came up, and I was like, damn, like, that is something I definitely remember from my childhood, you know? Okay, so yeah, I, I really got into this idea that um, people were, mass numbers of people were remembering the past differently than what reality says, you know, it is today. And the Berenstein Bears just happens to be the, the catalyst and the, the largest sort of controversy, you know, are we living in an alternate world line? Um, 
So after a quick look, Wayback Machine. So the Wayback Machine is a uh, an internet tool. It's a website you can go to that will look up old uh, snapshots of websites. It takes a snapshot of the whole internet and uh, you can go and do a historical search. So here's this 80s Cartoon Central website and they're calling it the Berenstein Bears. Okay, official Berenstein Bears website. But it's the Berenstein website. It's just so bizarre. I There's this guy here, this this lawyer. Well, actually he'd since changed this. Well, actually, yeah, so he has since changed that, and you can tell because here he says the Berenstein Bears, not Berenstein Bears. He probably got so much, you know, internet traffic and attention, uh, that he changed it but yeah I mean even he so this is the Berenstein rift uh, this is a Facebook community made uh, to gather evidence about a possible time shift reality shift whatever you want to call it mass miss mass identical misrememberings um, so this is you know even he says it's the Berenstein Bears uh, this article here when that thing goes down well, this article here says the Berenstein Bears. This is a newspaper. I mean, there's just there's there's tons of examples of this. It's so anyway. So th this Mandela effect. You know, I distinctly remember Nelson Mandela passing away decades ago, uh, and then he passed away in 2013, and I was like, wow, um, a lot of people are remembering this. And a lot of people are remembering differently than, say, 50% of the, of the rest of the, of the population. So this person, this, this Nelson Mandela, this Mandela Effect website made a list of, and I'll include the links, of uh, major discrepancies in memory. Um, this, this states thing is actually kind of interesting. You know, I, I know there's 50 states, but for some reason, I, I kind of remember being taught in school that there were 52 states, you know, and that it, it's just, it doesn't settle right with me. You know, I'm not saying there are 52. I'm not saying there are 50. I'm just saying that at some point in my life, I remember, I remember there being 52, you, you know, and this 9-11 thing kind of stood out, this 9-11 thing kind of stood out to me too, because Everybody remembers it was 9-11, obviously, but 9-10, as some recall. You know, I remember being on 9-11, but in my Rise of a New World Order series, uh, in part one, uh, there, I have a video from a, uh, a video camcorder has the date as 9-10. You know, I always just thought that was a glitch. You know, maybe they didn't set the de date right, or there was a leap year or something, but I read that, and I just thought that was kind of crazy, kind of interesting, you know? Um, this is definitely the, the biggest one. Cause I, I definitely remember Berenstein. <laughs> uh, so th he just has this huge list here. Um, much of it I don't think is uh, as telling as the Berenstein. Um, you know, like a lot of these things are kind of nuanced and, and things that people wouldn't remember anyway, just because they're not as big the challenger you know that, that's a big thing like just big events like 9-11 or uh big big topics in your in your childhood history like the berenstein bears being spelled one way and now they're spelled another you know the states you know these are big memories that a significant number of people are remembering differently and it's just like so wild to me uh let's go through here a bit Nelson Mandela's death. Uh, I I swear I thought he was dead already. And one of the wildest ones, um, yeah, Patrick Swayze's recovery. I thought he died. 
and now they're saying he's a lot you know it's just like what uh my my girlfriend swears it's sex and the city but i don't know for some reason i thought it was sex in the city uh again i don't watch that show so i don't i don't know but um i kind of remember the tiananmen square guy getting run over um and I thought that's like what made him a martyr, but now they're saying he's alive. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just didn't remember it correctly. You know, another thing was, um, you know, ask yourself this without Googling it. Uh, is Fidel Castro alive or dead? So think about that. Don't Google it. Think about that. And in the comment section, let me know if this surprises you, but he's alive. I think could have sworn that he was dead that he died years ago and that's why his son took over power um why we opened up negotiations with cuba you know maybe i just remembered it wrong i don't know you know maybe he stepped down or something you know and and that and maybe i just remembered it wrong but i think the point is is that there's just like large portions of the population that remember historical events differently than a lot than the other portion of them. Um, some more interesting stuff is uh, so the Berenstein Bears. To come back to that, this is uh, an imager of the show The Office. Uh, I didn't really watch it that much, but season eight, episode eleven. I guess they, you know, have sort of a, an offensive uh, team name. The, the Quarenstein Bears. So even they spelled it with the Steen, not the Stain. Uh, if you just do an internet search uh, for the Berenstein Bears and you, you said it to books and you said it to magazines, I mean, look at all these people that call it Berenstein. 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 I mean, 2006, 95, 96, 84. I mean, all these magazines call it Berenstein. Was everybody misspelling it? Were all these major publications misspelling it? Maybe, you know, it's it's really weird. All these magazines, The Office, all these people, you know, that, that believe that it was just spelled Berenstein, not Berenstein. It, and then I even uh, found a 1985 uh, TV guide yeah, I know the 80s. So I even found a uh, 1985 um, scanned image of the, of a TV guide. And sure enough, I mean, they call it the Berenstein Bears. The premiere of the Berenstein Bears. I even put it in here a little bit so you can zoom in. Baron Steen, not Baron Stein, and that was the premiere. And you would think if I'm the, if I'm, you know, the Baron Steins, I'm the creator of the Baron Stein Bears show. That on the premiere, I would ensure that the national magazine TV guide spelled it right. It's just such a bizarre thing. Uh, <laughs> So this this is a video where the person is heard saying Berenstein. Season three. And this is a show called Wilfred. It's season three, episode six, called Delusion. And this scene happens right around seven minutes. My biography is it's gotta be honest, it's gotta be gritty, but it also has to sing off the page. I'm talking Wiki Tiki Tavi or early George. George? Curious? Later George just wallows in its own density. Something like the Berenstein Bears visit the dentist? Visit the dentist is beach. Yeah, Berenstein Bears. <laughs> so there, there's a lot of people talking about this, and it, it's... So this is kind of cool, too. So... I found this. This is a uh, a video game for that old Game Boy. Clearly says Berenstain Bears. 
but the person wrote Berenstein Bears. Spooky old tree. Now, I know that this is, you know, HTML code, or it's a content management system like WordPress, you know what I mean? So somebody wrote Berenstein Bears, it didn't automatically pull from this image, but a big corporate company like GameStop, I mean, they're pretty good at, at fact checking and making sure that everything's spelled right, just like newspapers are, just like TV guides are, I mean, all these publications are calling it one thing, and then all these other ones are calling it another thing. Um, it's a really interesting mystery. Uh, these Wayback Machine website, I mean, Wayback Machine, like I said, you know, is a, a way that you can look at snapshots of websites from way back when. They call it the Berenstein Bears. Everybody's calling it Berenstein Bears. And then now we're saying that there's a lot of things. Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes. I, I remember it as this. But I guess now apparently it's that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really wild. Uh, so all these major memories. You know, The Office. All these publications. So this, this guy now has the idea that there's some quantum mechanical explanation for how timelines, how realities, how universes under quantum mechanics, assuming you believe in quantum mechanics, you know, because it's, that's kind of controversial as well, uh, but that there is a quantum mechanical explanation for how universe A, Berenstain, and universe E, Berenstain, could have coalesced, and that there could be people from universe E in universe A. And that's why he says some people remember Berenstain. And, you know, he is right. That doesn't disprove the hypothesis. All it does is that it means that you're from A, not E. Uh, yeah, I mean, they insist that this is how it's always been spelled, but, but so many people remember it as Berenstain. Um, yeah, thousands, I'd say millions of people. Everyone that I've talked to has said that they remember Berenstain. Well, except for one, one friend who says Berenstain, but it, it's just so curious that so many people remember the exact same false memory, mistaken memory. I, I mean, it's just, yeah, they've always, that, that was the weirdest thing whenever I looked at those books. <laughs> and th this was interesting too I mean that could be human error so a lot of people list the books on eBay Amazon whatever and they call them Berenstein but the physical products themselves say Berenstein on the cover That that's an interesting point because maybe all those people misspelled it or misspelled you know spelled it according to the way that they incorrectly remembered it but I don't know, when I put a product on eBay or something, I pay attention to how it's actually spelled because I want it to sell, you know, and it's just kind of neat and, and weird that that so many instances of this happened. Um, yeah, there's a couple photoshopped. That, that's definitely photoshopped. Uh, they, they prove it somewhere else. I, 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 I forget where. Um, this one, I don't know, it might be, might be photoshopped. I don't know, I guess he's, uh, yeah, it looks like he does say it's Photoshop. Well, anyway, so yeah, I mean, a lot of people are trying to hoax this and whatever. People do that. Um, the The point is, is that every book, every physical product, every internet search says Berenstain, not Berenstain. And, and that just doesn't sit right with millions of people's memories. And that is just so crazy. Yeah, I just wasn't paying attention. All, all of us people, was, we just weren't paying attention. Um, yeah, and that there's just a lot of other stuff like this. Uh, this Mandela Effect website. And they have a list of the common memories. And, and I mean, it goes so far as to say that, you know, 
New Zealand isn't in the right place. There's there's too many or not enough states of the United States. Uh, Australia is shaped differently. Um, Nelson Mandela died years ago, but but then he died, you know, in 2013, and just a lot of mass misrememberings of the exact same thing. And that that's what I find so fascinating is that. I can understand if I just don't remember something or I don't remember it correctly. You know, that happens to everybody many times a day. Um, but the idea that so many people remember the, the same wrong thing, that's when it kind of gets like a little weird. It's almost like a million people had the same dream. You know, you would not be so quick to dismiss that. Uh, and it kind of it kind of boils down to two possibilities um, either some sort of reality shift uh, quantum mechanical many worlds hypothesis uh, you know reality change reality shift you know either something like that happened like some of these authors go into some pretty in-depth mathematics about um, either that happened or there's just millions of people a large percentage of the population I'd say half you know close to half maybe even more who remember things just totally wrong you know and memory is infallible you know memory is not perfect it could that could be it but it's just kind of strange how it coalesces around certain things um like fidel castro i could have sworn he was dead but but he's not you know and it another weird one was uh did the world trade center towers the original the old ones uh was there a bridge connecting them together or not you know apparently thousands of people believe that there was a bridge connecting them but all the facts point to that there was not um and then why, why do we have TV Guide and we have all these magazines and newspapers and, and episodes of The Office and, and Amazon and eBay products? Why do so many other records say Berenstein when this entire time they were Berenstein? Um, a neat sort of closing thought about that is... Uh, if, if the reality shift hypothesis is true, then it should have changed everything, right? So even the TV guides and the, you know, old magazines and the old books and stuff, everything should have been changed to Berenstain. If that was, if it was truly a reality shift, why do we find any evidence at all that Berenstain was apparently the once common accepted spelling of of this children's book um but we do find that evidence so we do see evidence that berenstein seems to be a generally accepted spe spelling of of the children's book and then it, it makes you wonder you know was this a uh, a half done shift so did reality shift assuming it's true did reality shift enough to change the physical products but perhaps the targeting wasn't accurate enough to shift everything else to shift people's memories to shift uh websites and old books and old magazines and tv guides and stuff like that you know what was the shift not complete? I don't know. It, it's a, uh, it's something I don't have an answer for. Um, it's a weird thing though. And that's why I really wanted to share it. Uh, I just, I find it a really interesting, a really weird issue that's come up recently in the past couple days. And I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. I'd love to hear if, if you remember it as Berenstein, if you remember it as Berenstein or Berenstein, um, are you a universe A or a universe E person? Uh, do you remember Nelson Mandela?
passing away decades ago is Fidel Castro alive or dead um, and don't Google these things whenever you comment you know I want to know what you remember not what you're able to look up and that's that's another thing that's a whole uh, other can of worms is how people don't think they don't remember anything anymore they just Google search it you know why why try to remember something when you can just pull out your phone and search for the answer that's a whole other can of worms um but yeah i'm just i'm really curious and then are there any other things that seem different now than how you remember it uh a big another big one was uh sex and the city or sex in the city being that tv show's title um were you taught there were 52 states and now there's 50 have you always thought there were 50 or, you know any sort of like weird discrepancies this is one of those issues that's so on the fringe that we're not going to get any you know sort of definitive answers or whatever but it's just something fascinating and something fun and i i just i really like to think about it and i'd like to hear your thoughts too anyway this is suspects guy signing off and i appreciate your time